Well, hello, hello, darlings, and welcome back. It's me, Elka Trades, and we're back from our break. It's been a while. I apologize. It's been like a little over a week, a week and two days or so. But here we are, and I feel refreshed. I got a lot of stuff done. Had a lot of work to sort through, but everything's nice and evened out uh, personal life has been fixed you know a lot of uh, behind the scenes stuff and this week we're going to be diving into um, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth but for today today we're going to go back to the messenger and I am a little nervous because um i am we're at the point in the game the second half of the game well the f yeah it's kind of like the second half isn't it because the first half is split in two and then the second half is much longer but it's where you do all the time traveling metroidvania stuff so we're at this point now where we have to look for all the music notes there's six of them, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but the main characters already have two, and we already got two. So now we need to look for a few more. I forgot if there's like six or eight, but we're going to get them all. And my only problem is I don't know where to go. <laughs> um, but I do have the candle and two of the Phobikins. So with the candle, we're going to be able to trek through the dark underside. I'm not sure if that's all we need. And I'm going to go back to the Quill, Quill Shrew Marsh and see if there's anything that we can do there. Alright, so let's head over to our game. Savaya. Let's kill our BGM and rigs our video game audio. Now just let me know, you know, how this is going for you guys. Oh, hi, Angel. Let's go. It's been a long wait. Yeah, it has been a long wait. But uh, here we are. Let's do this. And... Oh, hold on. Give me one quick second. We've got a few newbies here in the... Uh in our discord so yeah for those who don't know we do have a discord channel a uh, server so go ahead and check that out join our server find people to play with you don't even have to watch my content you know if you don't like me hey that's fine check out our server and find people to play with so let's reply to this guy yeah And if you guys noticed, um, I am using a new intro song, our new background music, and that's by Clairvoyant. Uh, I have promoted her, uh, promoted, uh, blah blah, tongue twister, promoted her here a few, few times. Um, Check her out on Twitch and YouTube. I will edit the description for this uh, live stream. They so can click, click, click. Yes, this server is here for everyone. And click. I double sent that. There we go. Alright. Let's go, let's go. Do I still remember how to play this? Okay, wait. Autumn Hills. What we want to do... 
Let's go here, right? The Quilshroom Marsh. So we're gonna explore this whole map area. Let me take a quick sip of my coffee. But where are we? Autumn Hills. Oh my god. Ah. This is far. Why are we here? Okay. So we have to go all the way over there. Is there another way? See, there's a teleporter right there. Okay. What we're gonna do... there's no teleporter here right but before I even go there I want to go back to this area autumn hills see if we can get that um that power seal over there and I get lost every single time but it's not that bad okay where are we? Okay. we're just gonna have to go straight up and then straight to straight If I get lost a lot during the stream, that's my number one weakness when it comes to uh, Metroidvanias. streaming partners still working on a schedule but uh, he's been streaming um let's see curse of the moon which is the kickstarter reward for those who played uh, uh for those who back up um let's stay of the night
right, let's just pull that there's one on the next area. Where the boss was. So I want to go down and get that uh, power seat. There we go. This one right there. Um, this game was made in a similar fashion to uh, Bloodstained, you know, where the whole point was let's recapture the fun of the older 8-bit, 16-bit games, but uh, with modern sensibilities, you know, so getting rid of things like a live system, knockback, Although I think this game still has some In Bloodstained Crystal of the Moon, you can turn it off. So if you want to play it yourself, you can. Oh wait, I got this already, right? No, there's one more. What in the world? Oh yeah. Here's the old one. Bam. And then there's one right here. The power seal hidden behind the power seal. Uh, you guys see what this is like, right? How am I? What am I supposed to do here? Okay. I thought I was just supposed to go straight through that. Sigurd isn't our only uh, new streamer. We're still doing some tests and everything, but uh, if you guys remember Keck from our Stardew Valley stream, he will be joining us. I have a feeling Curse of the Moon might make you do multiple streams per end. Yeah, because to, to unlock everything in that game, you need to finish it at least four times. Uh, you want to do a standard run if you're doing normal mode, and then that's where you finish the game, recruit everybody. And then there's another one where you have to finish the game, but reject some of the characters from joining you and then there's another one where you have to finish the game and kill everyone instead of recruiting them and then there is the final version the final story mode where once you unlock ultimate and the fully powered zangetsu then you do another complete run
See, there's the dark underside. But what's this to the left? Let's explore it real quick. a little shocked by the changing graphics. Where am I? Ah. Oh, here we go. Out of six music notes, we have two. And we have two of the full begins. So it's, it's gonna take a while. I don't think I'm gonna be able to complete everything in one stream, so... We'll just take it nice and casually. journey <laughs> yeah that's true and watch me suffer as I get lost uh, I will get lost I get lost in a game like Final Fantasy and that's about as linear as an RPG can get but I don't know I, I really love Metroidvanias horrible at them, but yeah, if it's fun, it's fun, right? So annoyed. Wow. I thought there was like another area or something, but no. I was lied to. There's nothing there.
I went around for nothing. Ugh. The pain. Okay, we'll end up at... Okay. Either here or here, I don't know. Wait. Yeah, there's no portal here. Where... Okay, there's the portal. We can get that power seal. Let's get that first. Oh man. Oh, I need to travel. Okay. We need to change our gear. Hopefully, there's one. Ah! This way. Head to direct. Oh. Hide at the bottom. Ha! Got it. <laughs> Legitimately on our first try, too. Alright. We got everything here. And then we can head up straight to the Quil uh, Quilshore Marsh. Nice. Because it's right there. The one in the dark area, I'm not sure if we can... Have to, so we, have, we have the candle. But I'm not sure if we have everything else that we need. Because remember, we went to that underwater area and to explore that underwater area, we need a punch out so we can hear the music. So I'm assuming that we can get that punch out. We got that on our first try. Go up. Goodbye. 
We're saving our uh, time shards. Get a sip of my coffee. Okay. Let's see, there's a power shard. There's two, three, three power shards. Okay. Let's see. Do we go for the power shards first? Actually, no. We can get the music note right there. Whoa! Yeah, it's right here. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. A power shard of the uh, music note. Painful. What do Spikes and Corbel have in common? We both have your back. <laughs> uh, ah, really? Corbel ah. is the bane of my existence. That the music here is catchy, yeah, and we don't really get to listen to it a lot. No. Ow. I want this. There we go. Thank you. All right. Oh. What? Let's take this. in the wrong time here. Wait a minute. Well, I don't see anything else. So we got that. 
but I want to go back. There we go. Sorry, I was just adjusting my microphone. Yeah, okay. I hope that's better. Oh. And let's make the music just a little bit softer. There we go. Now let's see if I can find that blasted music note. I don't... I don't see it. Prophecy. Okay, it's pointing me somewhere here, but... I swear, if I fall, I'm gonna die. Where is it? <laughs> Apologies. Okay, so... Like I said last time, we're gonna have to use a guide. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we find something useful. said it should be here. What am I missing? Me thinks there's no shame in using one, especially when stuck. Yeah, and I'm very stuck. Ow. Ooh! But, oh, there- oh my god. That bothers me to no end. Ah. Even when looking up at a guide, it did nothing for me. Oh man. That was useless. Because <laughs> the guide said it's somewhere blah 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 here. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, what? Where? Where? Okay. We have a thousand. Can we buy anything with one thousand? Yes, we can. Incoming damage. Attack boost. Let's get this first. Because this is expensive. We got the conch shell. Ah, uh, conch shell. Ugh, me and my tongue. Yeah. We can 
can go here. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that was... I looked up the wrong guide because it was probably telling me the right information, just not enough context. So, I got lost, regardless. But hey, I found it. I found the thing. So, it's still a win. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the um, underwater section. Really? How about you fall and die? Ow. Okay, what era do I have to be in? We'll just go ahead and find out the long way. Okay, we go down to the left. Ooh. And then... That's a bottomless pit, right? Yeah. Before I trick myself into going down that way. Scary. All right, there we go. Hello. And the music in this game is amazing. Right, oh, I remember this area. We struggled with this area. Well, I struggled with this area. I'm an idiot. I didn't even realize that there were these platforms. Ow. Okay, we need to go around. Ow! Ow! Where do we go? To go back because there's no other time area. Ah, I should have, I should have done it earlier. I had a feeling. I should have trusted my gut feeling. Ow. Ow. See, I didn't even realize we could use these platforms the last time that I was here. Okay. Alright. It's at the bottom of this room. What's up there? What is up here? What am I missing? What is this? Do I even want to go here? Where am I going? Where am I going? This is a whole new section of the uh, marsh. Oh man. Do I want to explore this right now? Wait, 
what's up here first? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I can go around. That'll let me get the power shard over there. If I go over here... I don't know what's over here. Well, that's the fun of a metroidvania. Getting lost. Back to um, the Inferno area? Oh, Soren Crags. What in the world? So this is where the uh, the two giants were. I'm very far from where I'm supposed to be going. But that's okay, let's find out what's here. Yeah? Aha! A portal. You unlock a portal. Thank you. Ah! What's in here? Oh! There's another uh, fob. But I can't reach him yet. That's okay. Is he on the map? No. Of course not. Alright, let's retrace our steps. That one's unlocked. Oh, would you look at that? Sun and Moon. That's the, um... The imagery in Sea of Stars. Let's see if we can um, get everything there. Getting lost is standard fare. <laughs> yeah, pretty much is. Except, if I'm not mistaken, in... Um, what game is it? It's a new one. Much of Dread. A lot of people are saying that, you know, the game is designed where you won't really get lost in that game. And that fascinates me, because I've never played a Metroidvania where I don't get lost. supposed to get over there wait a minute did I take the wrong route is there no other way Because if I take a teleporter... Wait a minute. Bamboo Creek. There's one here. Where is the next teleporter? Autumn Hills. Ah oh man, that's so far though. Is it worth it? 
Let's try. Huh. Because I want to go back to the area with the where I need to use the conch shell. But it looks like going backwards from that area is not gonna work. So we're gonna have to go from this route. Hopefully this is the right one. Hey. that gonna take me? It's gonna take me here. Right? Haha! <laughs> I am lost. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think we can go this way. I think. I'm not so, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Okay. So good, I think. Right. Okay, water. Ooh, scary. All right, let's go down. I need to go forward this time. Ooh, careful. And ow. He hurt me. Okay. Oh. Let's wait for this guy. Go down. There we go. Whoa! Completely forgot about that. Ow, ow, ow. Man, you guys need to chill. Okay, let's go down. Okay. We're still in the right... Um... Venue. fall and then these two are gonna collide yeah, I think we're on the right track Ooh. have I been down there ah, I to find out because there's an option right here That leads us down to the uh, to the dark area. 
but first, uh, yeah, I don't want to go there yet. Although we can. Ah, we're here anyway. Let's do it. Come on, come here. our uh, beloved uh, necromancer here's the key we have the candle now oh this is scary I can barely make out what's here Really intense, by the way. Because I have no idea where we're going. Ooh, what is that? There's a circuit. I have to hit something. Oh, there's a circuit somewhere. Am I getting Symphony of the Night vibe? Is the bat in the dark? Yeah, I say it. In in Symphony of the Night, if you want to get the true ending, you need to use the power of the bat, transformation of the bat, to navigate through an area. Ooh. Uh, it's an area filled with spikes and stuff. <laughs> and stuff. Filled with spikes. And it's uh, enshrouded in darkness. And the only way to traverse it is to use the uh, the bad transformation. And you need a few items as well. Because you need to get a certain ring in Symphony of the Night. Oh, there you go. Thank you. So that when you fight Richter, you'll see Shaft, the spirit of Shaft, um, floating above him. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. Power Seal. hard it's how you get the spike break uh, yeah 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 uh, once you have the spike breaker you can go through a tunnel that requires you to walk through spikes oh man I'm gonna die I'm gonna die. I died oh wow really this far that's mean, horrible. That's mean. Okay, but I know. I think I know what to do here. This is a whole section of the of the game where we need to fight. There's a boss here, and it's one of the 
hidden areas of the game. And, if done right, this is where we can get another music shard. Uh, another music shard. Alright, so the trick here is to not use the lamp, uh, the lantern at the bottom. Ah, but I just did. You want to use the grappling hook. Rope dart, as the shopkeeper calls it. The rope dart. No! Come on. This one's hard. That's it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. There we go. Ow. No! Yeah. And I died. <laughs> that was not easy. Damn you, Quarball. Look at him, chomping on all my time shards. Little gremlin. Demon gremlin. Oh, are you done? Oh, and look at that. Look at that. The healing potion. It's like right there. It's taunting me. Okay. I want this power seal. It's within reach. Patience, patience, patience. Up. And I got greedy. Ah. That's it. Patience. Got it. Oh, that was hard. That was really hard. And we're gonna be using those uh, pod teleporters, pod shooters, quite a bit. of these flowers. Let me pinch my coffee real quick. Okay. Humble hijinks. That's a trophy. Okay, because we need to realign them. Take a straight down. Okay. So far, so good. Ooh. This area does have a very interesting uh, boss fight. Because you need to use both. Um, Past and present. Well, past and present? Present and future 
Uh, but then his future is now his present, so... Present and past. Thanks, you have accumulated 299 time shards so far. Wow, greedy bastard. Alright. I just want you to get bored. Destiny. Ah, da, 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 da. Let's get that uh, healing potion real quick. Oh. Wait. Oh, I can. Alright. So we can bounce on the uh, green things. That's delicate timing though. Ooh. Is there anything above us? Yes, yes there is. But how do I get up there? Aha! There is an area. Far above us, but I don't have a double jump. There's a power shard up there. Wait, let me die real quick. I want to know if I can get that. Hmm. No. I can't get up there from here either. Marble, can I bounce on you? Come on. Let me bounce on you. No double jump. Okay. Sad day. And I died. <gasps> no! I didn't! Interesting! And a little annoying! Ow. But I got it! I got it! That was good. Somehow. Uh, wow. Let's use this to heal. Huh. So there's a teleporter all the way at the bottom. Teleporter? What's the right turn? Cannon. Why do I feel like I'm ill equipped for this area? But so far we're doing okay. So, I don't know. Where do we go? Well, we can only go out, so... Uh-huh. Let's kill that guy. He's gonna be annoying. Ah, teleporter. Uh... 
shop. How many more do we need? 19. Okay. At least we have gold. Chat? Ooh. Current area. Where am I? Oh, I believe you have found the sacred grove known as Rivier Orcus. It looks like a lot has taken place here. You bet. With their perspective as a time traveler, you should be able to see it in both states. This area used to be ruled by demons and completely charred. Until one day, a powerful messenger drove them out and brought in the butterfly matriarch, so that the grove could heal and become lush again. Worked like a charm! What do you want to chat about? Wait... So if I'm seeing the charred grove in my present time... No. And the restored version in the future... Don't go there. Doesn't that mean there's been a messenger in between my two time periods? Hooray! Time paradox! Or... Plot hole? You decide. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks for ruining the show. Can't you just enjoy the contrast? What do you want to chat about? Oh, no stories? Why? Upgrade. Let's see. 2000. Nope. Whoa! What am I supposed to... Um... Can I... Barely make it? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Ooh, do 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 do. Okay. Okay, this is scary. Whew. Time paradox. <laughs> yeah, it would fit more of a time paradox, wasn't it? Whoa. Okay. And those jumps. This game is asking me to make some really ridiculous jumps. And look at this. The things this place is making me do. Ooh. Not easy. Not easy. Uh, uh, uh. What is this? No, 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 no. Oh, this is trippy. Okay, bye. Ooh. Okay, going down. Oh, look at this place. There's one more power seal there. This place is trippy. Alright. Okay, let's try it. Uh-huh. And then that's gonna take me there. Let's try it. Bam, 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 bam. That last one. There we go. 
I think this is right. Gotta love those flower cannons, right? It does make for a really fun uh, mini mini puzzle. You know, figuring out the right um, directions and everything. Right, let's see. This is gonna go there, there, there. This one. And straight up. Whoa. So that's wrong. It's gonna go up. That way. Overlord, hey! Say you don't trip, so it's no, no trip. Oh my god. Well, hello. Okay, that took me back down. So, we want this to go here. Yeah, I think this is right. Two, three, go up, go up, down, up. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Does not look healthy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Wait, I can't go up that way. Can I go up this way? No. What happens if I take this? Ah. Okay, this is getting really trippy now. Whoa! They got mad, they got mad. Begins. Yep. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Whoa. There's a pathway to my left. Oh, there it is. Okay. What in the world? How am I supposed to get there? Oh, come on. Okay. Go up. Ah, oh, really? Okay. 
That's gonna shoot up. But that's not high enough. to make sure wait oh man I'm so not sure about this alright uh huh oh that ignored me I think this is right. Okay. Power seal. There we go. Got it. And there is a reason why I want all of these power seals, by the way. Uh, completing all the power seals is a huge help uh, when we get to the final area of the game. Any idea what I will find next? Not really, but I fear this place's past may still be affecting its future. A power boost or something. What? Or something for the ending. You need to flip the flower. Well, we're done with the flower flipping, so yay. But yeah, there is a... Well, it's not a power boost. It's a tool. Um, You, you guys will see it when I get all the power seals, but... It's a weapon slash tool that makes the final boss slightly easier because he's still a pain. The curse is stronger than it looks here. If you see an opportunity to catch a firefly, you should take it. Ooh. Ominous. Welcome, messenger, to the secret grove. Whoa. Who are you? I am the Butterfly Matriarch, the embodiment of beauty. Come closer, I have a gift for you. Be careful, the Matriarch is not what she seems. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a bat. See, she is plagued by an ugly monster. You must free her of this evil. Away with you, puny thing. Now, messenger, come closer and die. Yo! Time shenanigans. No. platform is smaller no no 
stop it. Come on. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Fall and that's it. Nope. Oh. oh no no no! Oh, confusionary. No. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh no! That was scary, that was really scary. Come on, just die already. You don't have a lot of life. Gotcha. Time to swap the bat. And we got him. That was good. Incredible. To be free at last. How long has it been? Too long. I made a mistake. I thought beauty would fix it all. Thank you, messenger, for ridding me of this rotten... Rotten... Ah? Uh, from of this rotten core. Man-bat thing. <laughs> that makes me think of Batman. He has a villain called the Man-bat. And it turns out that it's not even a man, it's a... a female scientist. Is this a lesson on appearances, how they can be deceiving, and why we should never judge based on them? Why, yes, you took the words right out of my m way. The butterflies even have mouths. Anyway, you have been a great help. So one of my fireflies accompany you on your journey. I am certain you will find her valuable when things get dire. Aw, thank you. Magic firefly. She can work against the forces of evil. How you remind me of the monk who saved me once. I wondered what became of her. Anyway, farewell. Oh! Getting Mothra vibes from this thing. Yeah! Wait, we got everything, right? Yeah. Oh, speaking of Mothra. Uh, the Godzilla movie's coming out. Strong enough to lift a minor curse. She can also work against the forces of evil. Ruxton's amulet. Magic seashell. Okay, this is the one that we have to use. See, abilities, I'm missing one. To get that uh, ability, we need all of the power seals. It's a fire thing that can fly with magic. Very literal. Very, very literal. But you're not wrong. Yay. So how far along are we? I still need to get... What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Howling Grotto, no. Bamboo Creek. Here, it's down here, right? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. But can I use... Isn't this the area where we failed to use the... Uh, the teleporter? So can I use one at the Bamboo Creek? No. Catacombs? No. I have to go from the Autumn Hills. So this is gonna be quite a trek. 
But before I go and do that, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I'll be back, guys. Everybody, so we're back. I'm gonna try one more time uh, using the Howling Grotto. Uh, teleporter. It's this one, right? Yeah. We'll try it. Cause maybe I was just being a little careless. I think we can do this. Alright. Oh wow, he didn't die on the spikes. That's unfair. Because this was my problem. How am I supposed to get up there? Right? But maybe... Yeah, how am I supposed to get up there? Because I can't go up there from here either. There's gotta be a way to get up there.
Okay, I don't know. Wait, what? Try the Howling Grotto again. Yeah, that's why we're here. We're gonna... Give it a shot. My only problem is I don't know how to get up. Is there another portal here? No, there's none. There is one all the way over there. So I don't know, maybe I'm just forcing myself to use one that I'm not supposed to. Take a try. Right? Nothing wrong in trying. Munching while waiting for possible leads for the next note. Yep. This is... I have a general idea. But I'm not sure if these are the right ideas. I know we also have to go back to... Um, the Cloud Top. You know, where uh, Manfred is. Yeah, see, because I need to go through here. But the only way for me to go through there... Is there one here? Yeah. And it's not that far. Let's give it a shot. Good though. Okay. okay, we're almost there. Ah! And I died without using the save point. <sighs> Why? Right. This can't be that impossible, right? Right? Save point just to be safe. All right. There's got to be a. Uh... Okay. Above us. Silence. Okay, give us more shards. Oh, man, that silence. It's kind of creepy. Please. 
There we go. Oh, we're in the right uh, era now. And it's so quiet without the music. Wee. Wee. Ah, this feels right. Go, we got the glider. Let's wreck that. Yep. Give me that. Die. Ooh. Bye, guys. Seal there already. Ow. That's on me. Okay. And uh, yeah, to anyone who joins the uh, VOD gang later on, if you guys notice during our little uh, break, um, same song as in the beginning. I am featuring a song by Claire Man. What in the world? And I will put links in the description. Check out her YouTube and... Oh, I could have went here this whole time. Oh, I feel betrayed by my own recklessness. But yeah, I will send links, uh, add links to the description of this video. Check out Clairvoyant. Okay. Oh, so now there's a visual cue. Because we have the conch shell now. Interesting. Ah, there it is. Up there. It's a good thing there's a visual cue too, you know, for people who are hard of hearing. Ah, there we are. Because you're supposed to solve this by listening to the audio cues. Here today, gone tomorrow. Ah. Here we are. Ah, oh, this is cool. See this this temple right here, the sun and moon, the sunken temple. This is the only connection we have to the prequel game that just came out last year, uh, Sea of Stars. And I've always wondered, you know, what's the story behind this place? Strange energy emanates from behind the sealed gate. Two sockets seem to be missing their crest. A sun and moon. Alright, let's take the bottom left first. Whoa. Whoa! Let's not take the bottom left first. Hi Thea, yeah, music. Really good music. Shopkeeper, talk to me about this place. This place looks ancient. Oh, you noticed? We're not clear on what the sunken shrine really is, other than the ruins of a religion long forgotten. Ooh! Even the order of the shopkeepers, they don't know. The prophet thinks it was built to worship legendary heroes who ascended into guardian gods. Whoa! Crazy, right? I mean, who becomes a god? 
It's all under the sea now anyway, but apparently their power had to do with the stars. Oh, so that's why it's called Sea of Stars. Anyway, if our cal calculations are correct, you should find a music note somewhere in here. Aha! Uh -huh. And that's what we're going for. Scary, scary, scary. Okay. Is that a... Okay. Ah. Interesting. Ah, da 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 da. Yes, please. I just need 700 more. Angry. Whoa, there's another one. Okay. And there's nothing at that end. Okay. Let's follow through, duck. Save point. Talk to me. Come on, shopkeeper. Nothing. Uh. Where giants used to live, a little creature is paralyzed by fear. No, I already know where that is. Don't worry. That's up the uh, crags. Ooh. Interesting way to deal with these puzzles. You know, using the water as a focal point. Okay, and then go back. Bam, bam. That's really cool. You know, using the... It's not just the time travel, but your ability to traverse using the water. Make sure. Okay. I do want to play. Um, not now that we're you know constantly underwater diving and everything. I want to play Dave the Diver on stream. Uh, I have it on Switch, but my main problem is. Um. I no longer have a comfortable. Switch controller. So I'm debating whether to get it when it releases on the PS5, which they said is sometime this summer, or if I should wait and just get a better controller for my Switch. Oh, speak of Clairvoyant! Ninja! Yeah! Uh, we were featuring your uh, music earlier. Ooh. You got the light foot pad. Ooh. So yeah, everybody. Uh, clairvoyance in the house. 
Everybody say hi. He is the one who made the music. And hopefully we can uh, get her to make us some more when I have money. <laughs> you can now run liquid surfaces by holding R2. Just make sure you keep moving. Okay. Big thanks. Yeah. You make good music. Every time uh, Claire's streaming, you guys should check out her, uh, her stuff. Uh, what's this? Whoa, lucky shards. Hi. <laughs> yeah, uh, hi, I make the music. <laughs> you make some really good music. Uh, Claire makes amazing music. So don't hesitate to check out her, uh, her Twitch and her YouTube channel. Whoa. Whoa, that is so cool. Running on water over spikes. How goes the ninjing? Pretty good now that we're at a steady pace. I'm at the latter half of the game. And I got lost for a while, but only for a while. Everything is uh, nice and dandy now. I am unlost, as it were. Ooh. Wait. I want this. But yeah, getting lost in a metroidvania is par for the course. Ah, wait. OCD. Must get. There you go. My OCD is not that bad, you know, but when it's like one little piece. Like, please, just, just, just get it. Ah, ah, ah. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. Hi, Quarble. What the? A little acmophobia might come in handy. I mean it. Look it up. You know what? I am going to look it up. What is... Whoa, 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 whoa. I... No. Acmophobia. Intense fear of sharp objects. Hmm. Well, I learned something today. Is it truly a Metroidvania if you don't get lost? <laughs> ah, yes. The inevitable. Ow. Okay. So we need to use this portal. So we can traverse onto the left. Oh! Wait, I got that? Oh. Okay. I do not like this. Swords. Yep. Very lucky with the swords, actually. Because I was able to beat the uh, butterfly boss, butterfly bat boss, really quickly. Oh! Did not recognize. Okay, is there anything up here? Break you? No. So. Aha, there we go. See, that's what's really cool about this dungeon the way it um, plays with your abilities in and out of water. Okay, I still can't traverse that. What? Ah, 
So now that we broke it, let's go back. Swim through it. There you go. Ow. Ow. Come here. Ow. Little doggos. Demon doggos. They're demon dogs, but not demon guard dogs. Hmm. Oh! There is a power seal. Gotcha. Got the power seal. I thought they were frogs. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, they, they kind of do frogs. But what about that one, though? That looks. Oh, ow. What are these things? Demons. That's one thing we know for sure. They're ugly. like sharks on all fours. Well, speaking of uh, aquatic animals, a few days ago there was a news report of um... Ooh. What in the world? Of people who discovered what could be a new species, uh, subspecies of um, orca. And that fascinates me, you know? Oh, what is that? Okay, first let's check the room to the left. When the feet stabilize, when you pause. Yeah, right? They, they do look like sharks. Demon sharks. But yeah, there's a potential new subspecies of uh, orcas. Ah, so that's what's over here. Ow. Running on water, running on water. Got the sun crest. Maybe it was something to do with locked door. Yep. Aha. More shards. On the other hand, like the world needs more needed more orcas. Like they are scary. People are scared of sharks, but Yo, orcas hunt sharks. But a black. All right, we got one. Time to get the other one. Whoa! But the thing about orcas is they're also very fascinating. 
they have their own culture. And culture is something when uh, you don't learn it through instinct, it's not genetic. Someone in your community has to pass it down. And it's fascinating that orcas have that. You know, they have knowledge that can only be learned from other orcas in their community. They have their own language, they have, you know, their own rituals, their own hunting habits. That is so fascinating to me. Because, you know, we always think like, oh, humans are the pinnacle of civilization. But we're only technologically advanced because that's what our... Because that's what humans needed to survive. You know, but creatures like octopuses and orcas, they don't need what we have in order to survive. So they never had the need to, like, uh, have advanced languages or cell phones. You know what I mean? So it's like, what they have is more than enough for their evolutionary needs. Ow. Ow. I did not even notice my life there. Ouch, this reminds me of a story, but I can't tell it because I only have one sentence per death. They are smart enough to learn cultures. Unfortunately, they use that in their intellect for evil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? You're not that wrong there. Orcas are scary. And it makes me wonder, you know. People don't realize just how scary an orca is. They're far scarier than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Don't get me wrong, the T-Rex is scary. I've seen one up close. They have a pretty popular uh, fossil of a T-Rex over in Chicago. And when I was a kid, we would uh, go see it pretty often. Uh, they named it Sue. Of course, they don't know if it's male or female, but, you know, T-Rex is a T-Rex. But I don't know, I find orcas scarier than T-Rexes. Because you could equate a T-Rex to a giant turkey. Huh. I take it back. Turkeys are scary. <laughs> that they're all scary. But fascinating. <laughs> ah, okay. There's a power seal to the right, so let's go there first. Alright, I think. Yeah, this is gonna require some tricky jumping. Come on, make it. I had one, one HP left. <laughs> Chickens lost the size of the T-Rex, but not the brutality. Actually, I have this um, crazy theory that chickens develop themselves to become tasty because by becoming food they have increased their viability for survival because as food we humans will not stop breeding them therefore they never have to worry about their you know the extinction of their species as long as they're still tasty So, by becoming food, chickens have increased their survival rate.
but then I need to do it again so I can go to the left. gonna be a there should be a teleporter here somewhere because how do i go to the left right i have to be in the past hmm right chickens surviving by being extra tasty There's the moon shard. Moon crest. But there was something down there. I want it. No. Send me back. Cause I don't want to go through all the trouble of backtracking this this far. That's good. Oop. Give me that. There we go. Oh, and um, Sigurd, me uh, Sigurd, he uh, mentioned uh, Symphony of the Night. And the thing is, I have Symphony of the Night. So maybe. Not anytime soon. Maybe I'll be playing Symphony of the Night. That's a random thing if I ever saw one, <laughs> right? But here we go. Yeah. Ow. Ah, he's still hit me. Got this. Ooh. Okay, let's check it out. Two hundred percent run. Maybe. Because I want to get the proper ending. But if I'm gonna play Symphony of the Night in the future. I want to play a round of blood first. Welcome, adventure. You must be wary. Ooh. Allow the sanctity of this place to mend your wounds and invigorate your spirit. Oh, look at those. There's those like statues at the back. We are proud of all you could achieve on your own. What is this place? Yay, door open. I'm just looking. That's fine. As long as you know, thank you for keeping me in the background. This shrine and its history matter little now. A tragic fate has befallen this world indeed. Oh, there's like a... Look in the water. There's like a music box playing. A phonograph. Eons ago, we were its guardians. Are you gods? Are these the characters of uh, Sea of Stars? Some would say that. As the roots of wisdom grew more distant with each passing generation, humans took their security for granted and set faith aside. Devoid of worshippers, our power slowly faded. Your world was a vibrant sight before the flood. Oh. Then, as fate would have it, a powerful curse befell its only remaining piece of land. 
Guardians? How long ago was this? The implications of our story would make little sense to denizens of a fallen world. A fallen world? Your world. Its connection to the stars has long been severed. Increasingly helpless in the face of its impending doom, we crystallized the last of our energy so that when the time come, it could support humanity's final hope. That final hope, messenger, is you. Oh man, and the music. Yep, best to play Rondo first before Symphony of the Night. Yeah, and the thing about Rondo, um, because Symphony of the Night is the start of the Metroidvania era of Castlevania, Rondo being the last of the classic platformer style, Rondo is my favorite Castlevania game for that era, you know, the classic style. And I know this is going to sound like blasphemy to some people. Symphony of the Night is not my favorite uh, Metroidvania, Castlevania. It's a close tie between Aria of Sorrow and Portrait of Ruin. I, I really love Portrait of Ruin. As we have since the day you were born, we will be watching over you. Now, receive our final gift to the world. Ooh. Music note. Yay, we got it. That was tough. You got the key of love. Left by gods long forgotten to be found at the time of greatest need. It's one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. The curse they're referring to, uh, Vod Gang, is this endless loop of the demon horde coming back and the messengers having to keep sending a hero from the west. Yay, music note. Yeah, we got one. Nice. And we got all of the uh, portals as well. Tower of Time. Did I miss anything in the Tower of Time? No. I have all of the uh, power seals. Okay, Ninja Village? Nothing. Autumn Hills? Complete. Forlorn Temple. Okay. We need to go there. Catacombs. Done. Dark Cave. Done. Uh, Rivier Turquoise. Done. Sunken Shrine. Oh my god, we forgot one. No. We will get that power seal. Okay, let's go up, up, and then up, up, right, right, up. Okay. What? Ah, oh, man. Wait. Not this way. The other way. Ah, oh, come on. Really? I have to go the whole... Mm, this game... This game is testing my... my patience. Time to get our missing seal, yep. And it's just one, so I wanna get it. The good thing is 100 percenting this game is not that hard. Everything is on the map. You know, so at that point it's just a matter of due dil uh, diligence. How did I not notice that? Ah, 
Ow. Okay, we're here. We're gonna go down. Ow. Oh. Wait, I didn't get this earlier? Or did I die? Oh, no, no. I, I completely ignored it. Huh. Okay, got it. That wasn't hard. Okay, let that pass. Hold back down. And then we can pass. I feel careless. Careless. Ugh. Um out of the way, please. Okay, there we go. Ow. Those things take up so much damage. Alright, let's get this. Ooh. Wait. Yeah, we're gonna take the passage down. Then there we go. Okay, we got everything here. Holland Grotto, everything. Bamboo Creek, everything. Catacombs, everything. The marsh. Aha. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So there's stuff we need to do back at the mark. Now, is there a way to teleport there? We can go from here, oh, but it's too far. Oh no, not really. There's a pathway there. And there's also a pathway from the crags. And the crags were missing one, two, and is there any door that, um... oh, this pathway to the right. Okay. So... This is the Howling Grotto. We're gonna pop up here. And then take a path all the way up to the top. And see if we can get those, uh... Power seals. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, yeah, if you guys notice, there's a lot of backtracking in this game. It's a Metroidvania, but there's not a lot to revisit. I mean, there's not a lot of new places to go to. And I think that's its biggest weakness. You know, there's not 
a lot for you to freely explore. It repeats itself pretty fast. But, you know, when it's all fun, it doesn't matter if it's repeating. Ah, the music change. Ooh. Okay, so there's one right above us. Oh, and if you guys notice, even though it says, um, you know, the music is 8-bit and 16-bit, it's not Super Nintendo 16-bit. This is 100% more in line with the Sega Genesis uh, sound chip. Okay. I forgot, what was the Sega Genesis called for uh, people in Europe? Because I know the 8-bit system was the, uh, the master system. Okay, so I need to change. Let's go back. Let's go here. Blam! Oh, and we have 2,000 uh, shards. We can buy the thing at the uh, shopkeeper. The last upgrade. Mega Drive. Yeah, it's the Mega Drive. Because their 8-bit system was the Sega Master system. And then their 16-bit was the Mega Drive. You can wait to passively charge your next attack. Ooh, triple damage. Sunken Temple first made this power uh, power seal a lot easier. Nice. Bam. Ow. That's gonna be useful for uh, bosses. All right, let's continue on to the right. I don't know what era we're supposed to be in, but we'll just figure it out over there. Ow. You. That was painful. One hit wonder. What? Ooh. 
okay. We're almost there. And I had both a Super Nintendo and a uh, Genesis when I was a kid. But I don't remember playing that much on the uh, on our Genesis. I mean, I did play with uh, you know a few of the classics. Ah, so I should be changing. See, I can't access this. All right, let's go back. So I did play, you know, some of the classic Genesis games like um, Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, a few. Uh, what was it? Thunder something. It was a hor horizontal schmuck. And we had a Japanese import of uh, I think it was a Japanese port. I mean it had to be. Of a Sailor Moon game for the Genesis. No, Valis. We had Valis on the Genesis. That was a really good game. I don't know which Valis, but. And I remember watching my uncle uh, play a lot of Titan um, Force. And Shining Force is an amazing game, by the way. So like, while Nintendo had Fire Emblem, the Sega folks, they had uh, Shining, uh, Shining Force. And I want to play Shining Force at some point, you know. I've never been able to really get into the game. So I want to fix that sometime. gonna need Seal. Got it. Nice. Whew. Okay, we got everything here. We're done. Underworld. Oh, <laughs> okay, never mind. There's so much more to get here. There's like three, and there's no teleporter. So we're gonna have to go there the old fashioned way. From the crags. How the hell are you supposed to go down? Oh, I see it. I see it. There it is. That area to the right. See, because that just leads back up. So we're going to have to go to the cracks. But yeah, the whole reason why I mentioned the uh, Genesis and Mega Drive, I mean the uh, Master System, was because this game, it is 8-bit and 16-bit, 
but their sound chips, I mean, I mean the music, sounds more like a classic Genesis sound chip. And you'll notice it the most during the underwater section. Where am I even going? Oh, to the cracks. Right. Okay. Ah. Man, my timing on that is horrible. Wait. Let's check that. If I enter from here. Yeah. But let's go from. Oh! Hello! Hey, this is the monk who brought the butterfly nature to restore the bee. After uh, restore the grove centuries ago. Looks like she's been corrupted. Let me help her out. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's so cool! Oh wow, I actually read that out loud. Gasp. Eh? What happened? The primal fear. Take a deep breath, dear monk. It seems you fell to the curse of quills. What are you doing here? Is the butterfly nature out all right? All is well. You can relax. How long has it been? In this marsh, what have I done? I need to go see the prophet. Okay. Um... She'll be fine. There's never been a stronger messenger. Uh, hello? Hello? What about me? Gasp. <laughs> uh. What if we... Yeah, let's try it. Uh, fast first, and then... get a little too arrogant. Oh, it's so nice to have the uh, empowered strike. Because those uh, enemies that take three hits to kill, yeah, they're gone now. Aha. Uh -huh. So I can't access that in our current state. This is the demon mountain thing. Well, sorta. It's in the middle. So you can use the cracks to go down to uh, the depths of hell or to go up the snowing mountain. But right now, what I want is to go up here. Wait for it, wait for it. There we go. So, as usual, patience. Up. Ah, and I still fell. Did someone tell you that that was a secret passage? My brother used to do Ah. Uh... Oh! Hi Alex, super late, but super present. 
and bop into that uh, BGM currently. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you missed the... Um... We got to the section where there was a sunken temple. And that temple is connected to the events of Sea of Stars. But damn. Got it. So we've seen our Sea of Stars um, thingy. Ah, okay, so there's one way over there. Is there anything else that we need to do over here? Nothing. So, we're gonna go back. Yeah, we're gonna go back. Wait, it was connected to Sea of Stars? Yeah. We got the conch shell, and that helped us navigate the um, the water section. The one where we have to use the uh, the music. And we don't need a hint just yet. Water level. I'm glad to have missed. <laughs> There's nothing left up at the Tower of Time, right? Yeah. We did everything. But... 12 power seals. Okay. So we know there's one here. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, huh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more. Oh wait wait wait! I know where I know where those are. But, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Wasn't the conch shell the one that made Squidward go crazy in that one SpongeBob episode? I don't remember that episode. I remember the one where um, Gary went crazy. Is that a sink? Yes, obviously. Why would an arcane shop have a sink? Because it has magic properties, of course. Behold, the money sink. The money sink? Yeah, I don't know. People kept complaining about how there weren't any ways to spend time charts once you had all the upgrades and that we needed to fix this with the money sink. So we quite literally did the- oh, wow. How does it work? At the moment, it doesn't. Adventures threw too many time charts into the drain, and it's now clogged. Is there any way to unclog? Not really. If you had a money wrench? A money wrench? Ah. All hail the magic conch shell. <laughs> okay, so we got... Oh, that's a lot. Where giants used to live, little creatures paralyzed by fear. Yeah, that's... Um... So we're gonna go here. Let's see if we can just go to the right. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Why? Why? Okay, let's save this guy. The lava is floor. <laughs> but let me guess, your name's Pyro? That's me. How'd you get so close to the underworld if you can't stand fire? Oh, the irony, right? To be honest, I don't remember, but I do have to get back to my workstation. Thanks for stopping me out of it. This will take us back to the other world. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Hi, Quarble. Really, I missed. Okay, this place has amazing music. So instead of going up, we went down. And I guess. I guess that's fine. What's here? Ow. Ow. Uh -huh. Oh, shark. But I got all the upgrades. Aww. To be completely honest, the trauma made me forget, but I'm late for work. Gotta go back. Something wrong with that little thing in the construction. Yeah, the Phobikins. They are all afraid of one thing. And it always just happens to be their horrible luck that they're trapped exactly where they're scared. You know, like a dwarf. Scared of caves. That kind of irony. Oh, oh, double. Okay. All else fails. You could try jumping. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me pause real quick. Uh, I ordered something earlier and there were some things missing. Um, it was missing some uh, soft drinks and cheese. Because I wanted to have bread and cheese. But I couldn't. Because even though I got my... Um, even though I got my bread, I did not get my cheese. It was missing in my order. So, yeah. That, that's resolved now. Uh... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, that's gonna go back up. Let's wait for that to go back up. Oh, come on. Whew. Have you tried not dying? <laughs> the real question is, has dying not tried? Yes, we are in Mother Russia now. Bread and cheese, no PB&J. Um, I would love some PB&J right now, but... <laughs> Excuse me. But it gets expensive. And I was perfectly happy with just cheese. But my order did not come with cheese. Ooh, barely made it. Wait a minute. No. There's a power seal up there. In this room, yeah. Ow. What? What? Hey. Huh? 
Ah, uh, uh, there it is. They tried sabotaging you. Missing the cheese intentionally. Robbed of your dairy. I, I like my bread and cheese. It's simple, but very fulfilling. And it makes for a good snack, you know? Like, late at night. Ah, I survived. Got it. They wanted to prevent you from riding on your, on your dairy. It's diary. Ah, you got me. Okay, we got that. Yay! Oh, there's two power seals up there. Ooh. Interesting. They're like right beside each other. Let's go get those power seals first. Because I know there's probably one here. chances of that. Okay. That's okay. We got this. Swiss cheese, uh, yeah. After my cheese. Is there anything else I can upgrade? Yeah, nothing. That's it. Okay. What's the trigger for this? Ugh, speaking. This does not look safe. Oh, come on! No, I don't want to take a selfie with you. Really, Quarble? No support? Seventy-seven deaths already. Is that controller functioning? Pro I died seventy-seven times already. Oops. I apologize. 
Hey! Seventy-eight. Selfie or we riot. Seventy-eight deaths is a bit worrying. Hey. I will finish this, okay? How I get there? Is my problem. Got it. Okay. How do I get to the other one? Wait. What do you mean there's another one below? Okay, we cheesed that one. Power seal. Yeah! Yeah, we got it. That was good. And we got all the power seals here. There we go. Ah! We got a lot of progress today. Okay. There's nothing else there. So we're gonna have to go back. There we go. There we go. Ah, I'm gonna die. Oh, I survived that. What a dairy theme night we have so far. <laughs> yep. By sheer luck. The quest for the missing cheese. Ooh. Okay. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. sure about this either but they said I was better in the outdated lives continuous system <sighs> oh man that is so far was not as smooth as our first run. Ah, damn it! That's a lot of progress lost. Yep, and it happened again twice. But that's okay. That's okay. Practice makes perfect. And at this point, I should be a master. So we can't turn around when running on lava. That should be a given, I know, but I'm an idiot. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you, small demon. Ow. Ow. Okay, let's study this real quick. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh. No, I'm gonna die. Damn it, Corbel. Thanks, you have accumulated 357 time shards so far. Look at him. Look at him. Just eating my money. Still made it. Ooh, come on. Oh, damn it. Quarble just won another bet. That's okay. At least now we know. Patience. Sometimes we need patience. We got it. <laughs> I will die in the platforming part 100%. It is not easy. Oh man, that was hard. Nature's attempt to contain the underworld's endless mayhem. It is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. Whew. Two more, two more notes, and one more phobicin. We're almost there. Okay, give me a hint. There's nothing else to spend money on. Where giants used to live, a little creature is paralyzed by fear. Okay. Cloud ruins. Ah. Yay! Note gap. Correction, the power of chaos. <laughs> Yeah, this is Final Fantasy now. Oh, there's so much to do at the Cloud Ruins. Okay. To get to the Cloud Ruins, we need to go here. Talk to Manfred. From the crags... Is there a way... Yeah, there is. There's a way... Okay, okay. Woo! the crags Bam. Okay. Okay. yeah I need to be in the past if I'm not mistaken, because in order to use the giants, they have to still be alive. And we can't do that in the 
present slash future. Ooh, there's something there though. Wait, I want that. That's a power seal. Let my greed run true. So, um, we're gonna get that. To, you know, reduce long term backtracking. Because the first time I played this, like four or five years ago, um, I backtracked a lot. Because, you know, I was an idiot. I wasn't uh, checking the map when I really should have. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. This looks... Oh, oh, I actually made it. They died from power fasting. Actually, they did. Um, if you go back to the earlier section, they died waiting for their uh, stew to cook. Ow. Whew. Four or five years ago, damn we are old. Well, by the powers of Eltoria. Man, that looks so impossible, right? It was just a whole room where it was nothing but a gap. Okay, we're gonna get that uh, power seal up top. No, there's another one over there. get a cutscene where we see the giants eat in the game S yeah we did you can check it on our second stream it's in uh, our second vod okay now we're gonna go see Manfred
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't mean to fall that far. Hey buddy, it's a long and embarrassing story. The Elemental Skylands are in danger, I need your help. The Elemental Skylands? Ah, uh, Dragon Butler. I swear I saw a gender bent version of that in an anime. Yeah! What, what? Oh, I was thinking about a dragon app. I think you're referring to a butler. Yeah, they regulate the climbing in this little world of ours. If you don't take care of it soon, you'll find the demon curse to be the least of your concerns. Okay, I'll try to find some help. I'll be here. Um... What? Um... Spikes, that's all spikes. Oh, da 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 da. Speaking of spikes. Ow. And this bastard. Oh, hello. So, did you talk to the prophet? Yes, it seems you have a real shot at breaking the curse on our world. So, you used to be a messenger too? Indeed, my power is to travel back to the past. Whereas you, it seems, can travel into the future. And if the prophet is right, you'll be needing this to save a friend. Ah, oh, thank you. We're all counting on you. Okay. He's frozen. No. Well, let's see what we can do now. Is this take me anywhere? We'll find out in the future then. Really? That's where I died? 83 deaths is a bit worrying. Oops. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go, Manfred. Uh, um. He fell. There we go. 
that's it! Feels great to be able to move again. I bet. Yeah, I'm afraid it was where it's at. Alright, we have the environment to save. Are you ready to go to the elemental skylands? Wait. Elemental Skylands? You know what? Sure. Okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, because to get to the Cloud Ruins, we just need to use Ruxton's staff. The uh, Necromancer's staff. And what was that about the prophecy? Yay, Dragon Free! Yeah, we got Manfred free. But what about that Phobokin? What's going on? Seems like the Demon King managed to corrupt the Clockwork Concierge. Clockwork Concierge. A big robot that tends to this place. He's a butler superstar. I can't wait to meet him. Anyway, I was going to handle this myself, but the Skylands make the robot invincible. Where do I come in? I'll drop you in each of the Skylands so you can disable the shield generators. Then together we'll see how big of a punch the Clockwork Concierge packs. Alright, enemies ahead. Mash that button. It's a fire. You can also charge a big one. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. But I don't need time shards anymore. Oh yeah, we got a shmup, shmup section. Oh, and he draws them in. Thank you. All right, we made it to the air skyline. I'll catch you after you disable the shield. Good luck. Okay. Need anything? Chat. Congratulations! You're the first messenger to venture to the elemental skylands. Any idea what the deal is out there? From what I heard, the skylands regulate the climate. And there's a big robot in charge co called the Clockwork Concierge. Oh yeah? And who told you that? That talking sky serpent called Manfred. Ah. <sighs> okay. It's true! Of course it is! On an unrelated note, there's less oxygen at higher altitudes, so you might want to be careful. Really? What? I just made a cup of mocha and I see we're riding a dragon, what happened? Okay, now that we're here... Aha! See? There is one up there. But how do I get up there? Generator. Come on. Ah, come on. 
This is not easy. Got it. Oh, that was hard. But hey, we got it. That was a nightmare. Yes, a puzzle solved through extreme violence. Manfred! Oh, I missed one. Whoop. Oh man, I miss playing shmups now. Shoot him up, by the way. That's what a shmup, uh, shmup means. Shoot him up. And while a lot of people really love games like uh, Gradius, which is fine, I like Gradius. But if I had to pick a favorite, would be R-Type. I love R-Type. Especially R-Type Delta, which is on the PlayStation 1. I don't think it aged that well, so... You know... I might have to revisit it at some point. Okay. But yeah, R-Type is one of my favorites. shards that I don't need. <laughs> I think I heard my mother call me a shmup once. <laughs> yeah. You think you're a wise guy? That's what it sounds like. At least in my head. Destroy the generator first. Man, this place is weird. Oh, wait. How am I supposed to get up there? Uh, just to re. 
Frederick, my mother is not a gangster from the 1920s. <laughs> Are you sure? Flashbacks to the path of pain in the White Palace. Go, Messenger, you can do it. Ugh. Okay. This place is a little trippy. So there's a path to our right that I can't get to. Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. So we're on the right path. We'll just go this way. There's a save point. Yeah. yeah. I knew something was weird. Okay, that one's gone. There we go, yeah. I was just overthinking it. Water Skyland. I'll catch you after you disable the shield. Alright. And there's a power seal. The palace. That sounds so pretty. <laughs> Manfred! Oh, oh, there's a section down there. Let's... No, 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 no. 
getting really hard. Ow. Oh, okay. okay. What? Where's the power seal? What is this sudden spike in difficulty? Eh, it's not that hard. I mean, it's hard, but it's fair hard. horrible oh wow and I died at the right sp spot too thank you that was convenient I should have just died ah cuz I didn't go here in the past that's why what in the two one two one two one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I still died. Ah, oh, that was horrible. And of course, I had to die the last one. still died sorry about the pain but I can't pay myself back if death isn't confirmed ah we will get that because I don't want to come back here just for a power seal Ow! Wow, is my timing getting worse? 
I think my timing is getting worse. Come on, let's just finish these sections so we can move on. I'll save the game once I get that, uh, once I finish my this area. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a, a music note here. Hopefully. What? What? I had the timing down. Ah! Wait, let's get this. I had the timing down perfectly. Oh. Ow. Ow. Hey. Okay. Oh man, this is... I am so scared. Hold on. <laughs> This one's a little slower. Is it slower or it's just my imagination? One, two, one, two, one, two. I made it. Ah, oh, we got it. You just need breath in your breathing. <laughs> well, we got it. There we go. Oh man, that was hard. That was that was legitimately hard. Ow. Oh. Steal this guy. Can it no. It doesn't go through walls. Fusion. Ow. Okay. Ow. Why would I want to go back to the past? See, I don't get that. But it doesn't matter. We're here at the shield generator, that's all that matters. Eh, he fell down. Okay. One more. Wait, you thought the last one was faster? Really? Ugh. That's interesting. Because I thought the last one was slower. Oh. 
Fire Skylands. Okay, catch up with Disabled Children. Man. Good luck. Okay. This should be the last one. And yeah, there is a Power Seal. another way huh. ah I see the way yeah for me it was hitting the beat a bit different could be slower and I just don't know if it was dragging or not Lance Fletcher would slap me the hell for not knowing if I was dragged. Oh my god. Well. Okay. So at least we know where the thing is. Ah, got it. Second try. That was not easy. This was a lot, a lot easier compared to the last uh, area. Oh, and I mean it. That was pretty straightforward. I'm just guessing that they were tired too. some point yeah. alright right. you still need to smash four power seals to open that we only need four more So there's one, one here, two, that's two, where else, ah here, there's our four. We already know where to go. Okay. Okay, I see the clockwork concierge. Here goes nothing. Alright, let's go. Boss battle. Oh, this music. Do you think we could open that in this stream? I'm gonna try. Oh yeah, he does. 
so he can actually take out his cannons. Oh! Take these out one by one. Nice. Whoop, there we go. Let's do that again. Mad. Ooh. All right, there we go. Come on, got him. That thing, it's r <laughs> rotund, comedically villainous, majestic. Oh, hey, welcome back. Oh, who are you, people? And where is my hose? Hose? I thought he was going to say horse. <clears throat> nice to meet you, Clockwork Concierge. I'm a huge fan. This is unacceptable. I need to get back to my Skylands presently. Come on, chill. We just snapped you out of a demon spell. Is that so? Then it would be rude of me to let such a deed go unrewarded. Well, I'll agree to that. As I spent countless centuries in perfect harmony, while catering to the intricate balance of the Skylands, my core materialized a very unique piece. Acknowledging how deeply your cooperation has touched my metaphorical heart, I would like to offer it to you. Ooh. A music piece. Hard to imagine someone dying to that boss action. Yeah, he wasn't that hard. Progress! Ah, oh, man. Whew. That was... That was tough. Key of Symbiosis. Nurtured in the Clockwork Conte's core across centuries of perfect harmony with the elements, it is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. Whew. Whoa, thanks Clockwork Concierge. I have much to do. Is there anything else I could help you with? Well... Yes. It's just... What is it? He always wanted to be a butler. You're his hero. Hey, not cool! Is that so? And what is your name, Brave Sky Serpent? <clears throat> Manfred. <sighs> Manfred, huh? Yes, I believe that will do. Really? Yes. You have the perfect name for an apprentice. No way! This is awesome! Now, I should get back to my tasks. Come back to me when your quest is over. That's it! I'll be back, and I promise to work super hard. Yes, I believe we will first address your vocabulary. 
Farewell for now, Manfred. And good luck, messenger. Just one more. Yeah, we only need one more uh, music note. I imagine this creature to have a Mr. Krabs laugh. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, now I cannot unhear it. He just wants the monies. The pennies. The nickels and dimes. Well, that happened. Manfred and the messenger saved the world. Can you believe it? Yeah, that was quite the adventure. When all of this is over, that event alone is totally worth a second playthrough if you ask me. I know I should get back to play. Take care, buddy. Oh, man. Okay, so at the cracks... There's a Phobikins here somewhere. I just don't know where. Hmm. Well, that's what the power of the internet is for. So let's look it up. Publicans. There is one at the same crags. Oh wait, I got him. I got Necro. I got... Wait, let's double check. Pyro, Necro, Claustro. I don't have Acro. So... If he's in the Cloud Ruins, there should be a section there that I haven't accessed. So let's check that out. Cloud Ruins. Yeah, because I haven't really explored the Cloud Ruins. Oh! Oh boy. Oh, there it is. That's where he is. Now, is there any way... to get up there. No. How do I get back to the Cloud Ruins? Okay. First, let's try going back. Our home. How? Okay. Is there a teleporter? Progress. It's stuck in everyone's head now. The crabs laugh. Manfred, such a chill guy. Yeah, he is actually. And maybe one day, he may fulfill his dreams of becoming a butler. See, so yeah, this brings me back to Glacial Peak. And it looks like there's a way from Glacial Peak to get back there. I don't see it though. So let's go back up. Oh wait, no, Ruxton. That's what we need. We need to go uh, talk to Ruxton. The uh, Necromancer staff. There we go. Hello. Cloud ruins. Yes. Because if we get the last Phobikin, we can repair the bridge and go to the uh, Forlorn Temple. So we just need to get this guy. And 
Are there... Yeah, there's one there, one there, so it's gonna be a long trek. But I want to finish this part at least. Um, before we call it a night. last area before we call it a night. I can do this. Ow. Hey. Gotta feed Manfred. Okay. down there's nothing there we're just gonna go all the way to the right hopefully game it's not easy but it's not that hard either be awesome if one could control cheese cheese ah oh, man I need to go back to the store then because ordering food did not work the chronicles of my cheese endeavors Alright. 
that is scary. Okay, where do I go? Missing cheese saga. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah! Oh, I made it. That was scary. Okay. So. Wow, that is far. This place is huge. Uh. Come on. We're almost there. Whoa! That was scary. Wait. Yeah, 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 I need to climb up first. Where is the cheese? <laughs> and it's really just uh, like the really, really cheap cheese. That's all I want, man. So I could put it in my bread, put my bread in the microwave. Scary. Can actually attack all oh, their eyes, their eyeballs. All right. Ooh. Come here, ugly. Batman interrogating Bing. Where is the cheese? But at this point, where is the Phobokin?
Something, something, bread the cheese. <laughs> wow, okay, no hints or anything. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, what's here? Spikes. But we're almost there. See, I know how to count. Okay, we don't need to go there, we already got the power seal there. Yeah. Huh? Man, this is a long, long trek. Oh, barely made it. Oof. Oof, okay. That was rough. Okay, so there is a phobic in here. Gotcha, little guy. Hey there, little phobic in. Are you okay? I'm Acro. Oh, the irony, right? It's a long and unfortunate story. I should really get back to my workstation. Thanks for stabbing me out of it. Oh, we got him. And we can just get this one power seal. And then we'll be done. supposed to do here? Oh my god, what? Oh, come on, I died. Who's talking about breeding the cheese? Okay. Where the Phobicin was. And I want to get up to that power seal. just sitting there. Thank you. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got everything. Except here. But now that the uh, Phobicans are there, we can collect everything. Take us there. But what if I take 
Okay, yeah. There should be a save point right there. Okay, we're gonna take the trek and then I'll save the game. They knew how much of a chore it was to get there. They didn't want to add any more puzzles to it. Yeah, and I like it when developers do that, you know, they're like, you know what? You already did the work. Here you go. Take it. <sighs> so we just need to make the track and then that's where um, we'll end the stream. This was one, one long stream that I was not expecting. But it works out in my favor. I have something uh, important to do later, early in the morning. So finishing this stream at this hour works in my favor. But yeah, we're at the last real section of the game, I mean dungeon of the game, before uh, we reach the final dungeon. So we're not that far off. Uh, we're probably gonna finish this next Tuesday. I could try to push it now, but knowing the final dungeon of this place, no. There's no way. I want some time to uh, relax and really think about it. Is there another uh, save point here? Publicans. And yeah, they fixed the bridge now, so. Ah! We can save here. Whew! Man. Okay, let's, uh, let's head back to the bar. Yeah? So, uh, whew. That was... That was a lot. Okay, so thank you guys for hanging out. That was uh, a lot longer and a lot more exhausting than I thought it would be. But hey, we did it. We got pretty much all of the power seals that's spread across the game. There's only two left and they're in the last section that we're going to. Once we finish this Forlorn Temple and the boss, it'll unlock the final dungeon of the game and then that's it. We're done. So... Yeah, I'll see you guys on Tuesday for the finale of The Messenger. But on Friday, this Friday, we're finally gonna begin Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So we're going to push that on Friday and Sunday. And because I want to finish that game faster, I might stream again on a Wednesday. I'll put up my schedule next week so you guys can see it. But yeah, Friday and Sunday, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Next week, it, it'll be our um, Messenger finale. And yeah, once again, uh, the music you're hearing right now, this is from uh, Clairvoyant. 
I will edit the description of this video. Please check out her Twitch and YouTube. And thank you guys for hanging out with me. Stream man, it's perfect. I need to turn into. Yep, yeah. It's been a while. Brain has not been working. So, yeah. Thank you for the stream. That was so good. Well, thank you too. Thank you for uh, thank you everyone for hanging out. And yeah, I'm beat. I'm gonna get some bread without my cheese. The cheese saga. We'll see how it goes next time. Thank you guys. Bye bye.